what's up everybody so this is Benzilla back with a little bit different of a uh, video um, but still kind of the same so I was uh, sent a message by um, a guy on YouTube uh, whose moniker's name is Bucket and he wa wanted to uh, well he looked at a video a past video of mine and it involved my Ford Edge and the exhaust modification that I did so I'm out here today after work to uh, give a little update on uh, the Ford Edge and here it is still walk around so this is my 2013 Ford Edge and it is a base model and it um, I bought it back in 2014 uh, right off the lot whenever I had uh, my 07 Ford uh, Ford Fusion had just blown up on me, man. I literally just paid off that dang car, and like not too long after that, the engine just went on it, and I was so mad because everything else was perfect. I had just put brand new tires, wheels on it, and it just went to shit. So, um, but. He wanted to check out the interior. Not much has been done on it since my last video, um, but I'll go through all of that. So, obviously, the inside is it's got a, some uh, seat covers on it, front and back, and um, you know, got the sports mats. It needs to be clean. Sorry, everybody. This is this is my daily, so don't get on me for how it looks. Uh, the original interior is. Um, kind of a khaki color and yeah, this thing needs to be replaced. I'm gonna get new seat covers So don't worry about it. But like I said, this is my daily so I drive it every day uh, But the interior is kind of like a khaki color uh, So I didn't really care for that that much, but I wasn't gonna buy like a brand new Like set of seats and stuff uh, If I want to change it, I'll change it later <clears throat> But the color scheme still works pretty good with me um so here's the back. He wanted to see how much space was in the back. And my seat is basically all the way back. And there's still plenty of leg room in here. Uh, as you can see, I <clears throat> uh, got a lot of trunk space. All my tools and stuff are back here. I got my uh, creeper back here. My uh, duffel bag for my football games. Let's see what else I have back here. I got, actually we'll open up the tailgate. Um, yeah, I got my toolbox. Uh, I got my secondary box of tools and stuff. A bunch of bags and stuff here for when I go shopping. Uh, got my impact ratchet right there. Uh, some other ratchets over here on the side. I guess I forgot to drop this and lock this, but I'll do it later. Uh, anyway, got some work boots back there, some welding stuff in the back. So the capacity in the back is really well, really good. Um, so this is like probably one of the best um, vehicles I've had in terms of capacity and passenger size. So, and it's not like super, super big. Like sometimes you see people rolling around in like the Expedition or um, the even a Yukon and the and the Explorer. But where I live, I can't I can't be doing all that. But uh, anyway, so the inside is pretty dope. Uh, got the same wheels on uh, as a few years ago. These are, um, sorry, the center cap is gone. Like, these are old wheels, and the center cap is made out of plastic. It's the center cap, that's where you got it. It's like plastic. So every once in a while, when I used to get new tires put on, they used to tighten these really hard, and it basically broke the plastic, so this would end up flying off eventually. Uh, but these are um, Elite Pro, Pro something. <clears throat> uh, I don't remember but I got a great deal on them I got all four of them for like I want to say like 200 bucks or something like that and the guy just didn't want them uh, so I just drove over and got them I changed my brakes out to drilled and slotted I put those on myself there's a two inch space on each wheel so it kind of gives this profile that I really really like kind of sticks out maybe about an inch inch and a half to two inches and I really enjoy that so uh, and it for me, it drives a lot better, 
and I think it looks a lot better uh, because these ones, when I first got it, the wheel base, the turning radius, it was decent, but I, every time I went around a really sharp turn, especially in the rain, I felt like I was just gonna fall over. So uh, let's see, under the hood is your standard stuff. Oh, I did, uh, when I first got it, I did this, uh, what do you call it, um, this wrap to give it the uh, carbon fiber look added these uh, kind of wind deflectors and they've been on there ever since. Of course, got my Ford Edge Worldwide and my K&N, which is what I was about to explain underneath the hood. So let's take a look at that. <clears throat> so underneath the hood, uh, like I said, basic 3.5, six cylinder uh, Ford motor. It's not an Echo Boost. This is, like I said, standard. Um, I tried to paint the, the engine cover, which turned out horrible as you can see that's so nasty um, and yes it needs to be cleaned under here uh, but have your standard colder intake from K&N shout out to K&N and um, I did change out my headlights and my uh, fog lights and of course the racing stripe the paint job but I'll get that in a second um, so I switched out to the switchbacks from uh, from drive bright along with the LED bulbs from drive bright I went with the non-smoked in the front because I just, I'm black and I don't want to get pulled over by the cop like that. Uh, so it's cool. And then in the back, I have uh, the Drive Bright LED um, plug and play tail lights as well. Uh, so I added, you know, added those. This one I think I need to redo because, or check it out, the wiring, because this one, it's, uh, the brake light is out. Sorry about all that sirens in the background. I don't know what's going on. Um, but anyway, so about the paint job. I got a racing stripe, black racing stripe, um, gloss racing stripe down the back. Let me close these doors now. And <clears throat> the reason I, so I did have like a matte black, like sprayed, uh, what do you call it, a uh, plasti dip. Kind of, it kind of almost looked like my uh, standard stock mirrors. Um, but I, um, I got in a car accident this past January, and the front got smashed in, and the back got smashed in. So both those. The hood and the trunk were just gone, ruined, and my quarter panels were ruined and all that stuff. So I had to get it all redone and repainted. So I just asked a guy to do a black stripe for me, a black racing stripe down the middle with a red accent on the side. It was an all right paint job. I can't, you know, can't complain. Uh, like I said, this is my daily. So I just, uh, I basically was just happy to have it back on the road. Uh, but also, my exhaust system which is another reason why I did this video because um, Bucket had asked if uh, I could do an exhaust sound cold start for him and just an update so I got the exhaust done because right there at the Y I don't know if you guys can see it right there at that Y right there um, when I got hit in the back it just basically got crushed in and caused an exhaust leak so I couldn't pass safety so I had to redo all of that uh, and I'm still going to add some more to it because I got uh, one of those uh, cutoffs. So I'm going to add one of those on it and whatnot. But um, so the reason I'm doing this video is just to give a little update. And so you guys can check it out and then uh, do a little exhaust situation so you guys can see how, how that turns out. So I'm just going to set you guys down, start it up. back and give you a good look.
that's uh that's basically the the uh parked you know just standard rev mode and all that stuff um i'm gonna set you guys up so you can hear a drive-by and then you know we'll leave it at that so give me a second while i take care of the setup of the cam let's see sorry i'm at work right now it's a beautiful day out here man brooklyn nice so set you guys up and i'll be right back Hopefully you guys got a, a pretty good uh, shots and ideas of uh, what I've done to this thing. Like I said, it's just your run of the mill everyday um, SUV. Um, it just was too plain for me when I bought it and I wanted to make it my own. Um, anyway, if you guys like the video, uh, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you have any ideas of what I should do, because I'm really uh, considering changing the suspension on this um, and just adding a couple more little things to it. But if you have any ideas, let me know and uh, subscribe to the channel and check out some of my other videos. I got a 84 seat 10 that I'm working on, trying to get that taken care of. And uh, let's see, hopefully in the near future, I'll have another couple projects to working on. This is uh, going to be done with probably by the end of, well, probably August of 220 or whatever. 
2020. So anyway, thanks for the video. Uh, thanks for watching my video and uh, check you guys later.